All right, Tracy. Hey, Brian, you gonna put me in the channel? Boston Mike crushes a noob. He still thinks he's winning. Oh, and he got me a good game. Two crush, two crush. We both missed it. We both missed it. I'm a 51 year old prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's funny. Have anything on your bucket list before before you turn into an old man? Before I die. Yeah, you just die at 30, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's an awful lot of people in here. Send me that Send me that Send me that Oh, I was looking at That's why you better get This is the most blue damn game I've ever played lately. <laughs> Right now, right. Right. You want to see the greatest bishop pair in history? You want to see the greatest bishop pair in history? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's me, man. That's me. I don't know. Maybe it's a really bad game. It is not out of the question. Probably wrong, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> I like the idea of taking pawns as I go. At least it's interesting. There's nothing. Hell yeah. It's a move of nothing. Well, all right, Josh. Please, you're on the way. Yeah, Pond, big boss. That was a good one. Huh? 
Well, I give you some credit. That was righteous. I appreciate it. Yeah, buddy. That was super, that that now that was super bad. I'm gonna give you some props on that. He gets the A for creativity. We ain't finna open up a book. Hell no, we not doing that. Ooh, look at Josh. I like that. That's a problem. What if you wait here? What if you wait here? Look at this guy. He got, got me looking around the corner to see which way he's going. What's wrong with you, Josh? <laughs> That's all right, boy. I like that. I, I, I have to look to learn to look at him. That's super bad, but we can't do it, Josh. I like your style. Mm, look at Josh trying to Josh me up. Mm, look at Josh. Heck no. Heck no, we stopping at pennies right there. Mm -mm, look at this boy play some chess. I ain't mad at you, Josh. I ain't mad at you. I can't wait for forever. I can't wait forever, Josh. I gotta get the hell up out of here, partner. Mmm, boss. Mm. You just, you dodging me up. Ain't nobody worried about that. I got that cover. I got that cover, big ball. Mm. You joshing me up. Oh, I got to get out that pen. Mm. Hold on, Sue. Give it a damn about nothing that look like him. Go get him, girl. Who's that? He's trying to get me. Come on, Sue, stay. Come on, Sue, stay. Come on, Sue, stay. Come on, Sue, stay. Come on, sis. Come on, sister girl. Uh, Come on, Sue. Worst camp, still doing this. Oh, there's my, there's my we got them panties. Place. Come on, Sue. Uh, yes! You want it? Um, I did it. No, no, nice no, job, Sue. Thank you, thank you. I wasn't aware where it was. <laughs> I had to fight hard to get in there. <laughs> woo! That is game was fire. There it is. That was a good game. That game was woo! <laughs> 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 Ooh, that one was crazy. I didn't know what was going on. I over like there. that idea, the the sack, but I don't know if it was strong enough. No, but it was it, it, it got my attention. But it was interesting. No, it got my attention. You get you get an A plus for that one. I don't care who <laughs> didn't win. That was tremendous. I was like I tried to think out the box like that, but it was tremendous. Hey guys, Brent here, and what a great sack, just like Sue said on Josh's uh, night sack here, and it was super tricky, and Sue played it really well, because on, in the game she played queen takes, but you know, some of you are thinking, why not you know, knight takes, what's the problem with that? 
Yes, Josh had this in mind, and you have the forks. So going over here, queen takes, and here some of you may be wondering why why did Sue play this knight here? Why not just you know um, move the rook at a dodge? And she just didn't want Josh to start gobbling up all these pawns, right? So, and what's funny enough is that this pawn is actually the one eventually that that kind of led her to win the game. So she did make the right call in hindsight. So, uh, you know, even though it was not the right computer move, I think from a human point of view, she made the right move and um, and, and placed the knight here. In case anyone wondering what, what the computer recommended, rook b1, get out of it and give up the pawn. This could be one continuation. And um, when the dust has settled, white is winning here at 2.4. But wow, kudos to Josh for that very, very creative sack. I mean, these high-rated players tend to think differently. They look at the board differently. They consider different options. You know, just like Butcher did a couple games ago, if you remember his uh, his Immortal game. So that's this is always nice to see. And Josh, man, he just went on a ferocious attack. And credit to Sue for hanging in there and um, you know not panicking. That is the number one rule of defense. Just don't panic. Just stay calm. And she uh, kind of, in in the heat of all it, stayed calm. And then when she found the uh, the opportunity, boom, she started pushing that pass pawn and that was all she wrote. So beautifully done there, Sue, man, that was that was uh, fantastic. As you can see <laughs> how, how pumped she was after the game because she knew Josh is such a great player. So that was really, really great to see. And I think for those who are wondering where Josh is, or uh, let's go over a couple of missed moves here. I think Josh had an opportunity here in the game. We had a rook or a bishop takes, let's go move back. Black is winning here by negative 6.7. What will be another move for black here? Yes, one idea could be rook d1, and you eventually going to come up here, and black's, I mean, white's pieces are kind of tied up here, so let's say king, king e3, this could be one continuation check, take, and kind of when the dust has settled. Here you have to be a little bit careful because if you take, white has this, so just maybe this, and black is winning here at negative 6.5. And yes, your eyes don't deceive you here in this position. They were so caught up in the moment that they didn't see it, either one, but yes, the, the rook was hanging here. But they both had like, what, 20 seconds left in this position, so they had to blitz it out. But fantastic game. What a, what a very, very creative sack. A plus, just like Sue said, by Josh here. And Sue hung in there and made the right human move here. I, I, I love that, which eventually led her to the victory at the end. So she stayed calm in the pocket while Josh was attacking like crazy. That's not easy to do, man. It's not easy to play defense. Um, yeah, especially against a great attacker like Josh. So beautifully done, Sue. Great, great sack by by Josh. They're very creative. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you thought the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.